Math Lesson 38. Thank you for joining us for our math lesson today. Can everyone say hello? Hello! We'll do our meditation to begin. You can sit down. What are we thinking about? Heart center. Our heart center. We're going to use two fingers to find our heart center. Left hand in our lap. And we're going to close our eyes. Think about our heart center. We're gonna feel for that boom, 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 boom. And when you feel that boom, boom, your heartbeat, pulse, move your right hand into your lap. Keep thinking about that boom, boom, that heart center. Let's end our meditation with three deep breaths together. One, two, three. Slowly start to wiggle your finger. Slowly open your eyes and slowly stand up. <laughs> Everybody stand up. <laughs> We're gonna stretch our arms like we just woke up. Whoa, stretch your arms up high over, over your head. Stretch all your fingers out. Good job. Make your arms into a T so we can touch our toes. Touch our toes. And come up halfway. Make your back flat. Swing your monkey arms. <laughs> Good job. Let's come up nice and tall. Let's do it one more time. Stretch your arms up over your head really tall. Stretch them up really tall. <laughs> Go up on your toes. Get even a little taller. And make your arms into a D so we can t t touch our toes. <laughs> yeah, come up halfway. Swing your monkey arms around. Let's come up nice and tall. <laughs> okay, let's practice our balance. Stick one foot out. 
Stick your opposite arm out. See if you can balance. <laughs> See if you can do a little jump. See if you can do three little jumps. Did you do it? If you did it, say, I did it. I did it. Good, I did it. Good job, let's do our other side. Stand on your other foot. Put out your other arm. So you have one long line like this. See if you can do two jumps. See if you can do three jumps. Ooh, did you do it? If you did it, say, I did it. I did it. Good job, my friends. Let's do some spinning. Here we go. We're going to spin three times. One, two, three. Everybody feels a little dizzy. <laughs> Take a seat. In this lesson, we'll be practicing subtraction once again. We'll be learning how to borrow and take away numbers from our ones place. So first, we're going to start with a little bit of warm-up subtraction facts. So some quick facts just to get everybody thinking. What is 7 minus 2? Equals 5. What is 8 minus 2 equal? Equal Good job. What is 9 minus 2 equal? Equal It sure does. 5, 6, 7. Five, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> two, two, two. Yep, that's right. Okay, good job, friends. What is five minus three? Five. Equals two. Good. What's six minus four? Equals three. <gasps> One more time. Six minus four? Equals two. Good job. If you don't get it, that's okay. That's why we practice. Let's see. What is eight minus six? Equals two. Equals two. Good job. We have two, two, two for all our answers. Five, six, eight. Five, six, eight. Three, four, six. Three, four, six. That one doesn't really make a pattern. <laughs> but our two, two, twos do. Okay, what's five minus one? Equals four. What is nine minus three? Six. Nine minus three equals six. Good job. What's ten minus five? Equals five. Good job. Everybody was fast with that one. Four, six, five. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Okay. What's nine minus two? Equals seven. Equals seven. What is ten minus four? Equals three. Equals six. Ten minus four equals six. Let's see what is eight minus four. Equals four. Good job. We'll do one more little round. <laughs> okay. What's eight minus three? Equals five. Six. Five. Equals three. Five. Let's see if we have. It's five. Good job, friends. We want to count from eight, so seven, six, five. So it's five. What is seven minus four? Equals three. Equals three. And what is ten minus seven? Equals three. Equals three. Great job. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah, let's have everybody stand up. Let's have everybody stand up. Okay. We're gonna sing our minus minus hey song. I think everybody knows it. Here we go. Minus, minus, hey, what can we make smaller today? When we subtract, we take away. Good, minus, minus, hey, what can we make smaller today? When we subtract, we 
take away. Good job, let's do it again. Minus, minus, hey, what can we make smaller today? When we subtract, we take away. Minus, minus, hey, what can we make smaller today? When we subtract, we take away. Good job. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. Here we go. Minus, minus, hey, what can we make smaller today? When we subtract, we take away. Minus, minus, hey, what can we make smaller today? When we subtract, we take away. Good job, friends. Everybody take a seat. I'm going to try to do a few more quick facts before we sing our monkey song. So we're going to change our monkey song to have some bigger numbers. But we're just going to do a few warm-up number subtraction facts to get us thinking. What number is this? 50. If we have 50 and we take away 3, Let's think about that number. Good job, it is 47. Good job, and we can count in our minds backwards. 50, 49, 48, 47. Three, and we start at 50, take away three. We have 47, good job. Let's think about 47 minus 6. Equal 41. It does equal 41. 41. Because we count backwards six spaces from 47. So we think 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41. That's six spaces. Good job. Let's think about what 41 minus 4 is. Equal 37. 37, good job. Equals 37. Good. Let's have everybody stand up. We're going to sing our monkey's song. Mm -hmm. We're going to change the words a little bit. We're going to start with some bigger numbers. We're going to start with 50 monkeys. <laughs> we're going to start with 50 monkeys jumping on our bed. So we're going to go ahead and start with 50 monkeys jumping on our bed. Three of those monkeys are going to fall off and bump their head. <laughs> Mama is going to call the doctor. What's the doctor going to say? No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Good job. Then in the next verse, we're going to start with 47 because 50 minus 3 is 47. Okay? Yeah. So we're going to start this way. We're going to start like this for, for, for the first three verses. Then when we get here, we'll think of some new numbers together, okay? So the first three, we're just going to sing with these numbers, okay? Let's do it. Everybody get ready to show me your monkeys. Show me your jumping monkeys. Good job. So we're going to start with 50. 50 little monkeys jumping on the bed. Three fell off and bumped their head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Great job. We're going to start with 47. 47 little monkeys jumping on the bed. Six fell off and bumped their head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Good job. How many monkeys do we have now? 41. Here we go. 41 little monkeys. Jumping on the bed. Four fell off and bumped their head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Good. We're 
we're gonna start with 37. Jumping on the bed. Six fell off them, bumped their head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Good. What is 37 minus six? 31. That's what we're going to start with next. 31 little monkeys jumping on the bed. Two fell off and bumped their head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. 29. Good job. It's 29. 29 little monkeys jumping on the bed. Three fell off and bumped their head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. 26. Here we go. 26 little monkeys jumping on the bed. Four fell off and bumped their head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. 22. 22. Good. Let's start over here. We're running out of space. <laughs> 22 little monkeys jumping on the bed. Four fell off and bumped their head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on that bed. 18, 18 little monkeys. 18 little monkeys jumping on the bed. Five fell off and bumped their head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Great job. 13 little monkeys jumping on the bed. review problems. Students are going to get their number line once again so they can follow along as we work together on the board. So we're going to be thinking about subtraction problems using our number line, drawing some of the cubes and the strips for our tens and our ones, and then we're going to learn a new way to do subtraction just by paper. So we're just going to borrow from our different tens place to use in our ones place so that we don't have to use our cubes and squares and we don't have to use our number line every time. So follow along with us and have fun. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at a few easy subtraction problems. You can just tell me the answer or if you have to think and count on your number line, that's okay too. So just like our beginning warm up, 
That's 9 minus 4. 9 minus 4 equals 5. Equals 5. Good. You can count on your number line, or if you just know the answer, you can just tell me the answer. Good job. What's 8 minus 3? Equals 5. Good. What's 6 minus 4? Good job. That's okay. That's okay. We're just thinking about some quick subtraction facts. Some quick subtraction facts. Okay. Think about 10 minus 7. Think about 10 minus 7. Because that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. What's 10 minus 7? Equals 3. 10 minus 7 equals 3. You don't have to draw on your number line. You can just use it to count, or you can just think in your mind. But if you want to use it, that's okay. It's okay, however you want to do it. Okay, think in your mind. What is 15 minus 3? 12. Good. How do I write a 12? Thank you, my friends. Okay. Think about 17 minus 6. 11. Good job. Equals 11. Great job. We're getting pretty good at these facts. I like that. <laughs> okay. Let's think about 14 minus 2. Equals 12. Let's think about 19 minus 7. Equals 12. It does equal 12. Good job. And think about 18 minus 5. Equals 13. Good job. It does equal 13. OK. So we're going to do a few more problems on the board using our cubes and our strips. So I'm going to make number line. Oh, not our number line. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make our place value map. You can keep your number line at your desk and you can help me count with the cubes and the strips or you can count on your number line. So you get to choose. If you want to count with your number line, that's great. If you want to help me up here, making our cubes and our strips for our ones and our tens. That's great, too. OK, on this side, we have our tens. What goes on this side? One. Our ones. O-N-E-S. Thank you, O-N-E-S. Wonderful. OK, let's look at this problem. We're going to do 13 minus 6. Nine. Not nine. So first, I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw thirteen. Good. Is this thirteen? Yes. Yes, because I have one ten and one two three ones. Can I take away six ones? No. No. What should I do? Ten. I should use this ten, right? Yeah, so we're going to change this 10 into how many ones? 10. 10 ones. Help me count, please. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, how many ones do I have now? 6, Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Is that the same as this number? Yeah, it just looks a little bit different. Can I take 6 away? I sure can. Help me count some those 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Equals 7. Let's make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
equals seven. We're right. Good job, friends. Equals seven. Can you count on your number line and double check that that is seven? Yes. On our number line, is it seven? Yes. OK, good. Thank you for checking for me. Let's do another one. Let's try 17 minus 9. We're going to do 17 minus 9. It does equal 8. Let's double check. First, I'm going to put 17. 8. All right. So I'm going to draw 17 on the board first. I have one tens and seven ones. OK, help me out. Can I take away nine from here? No. What do I have to do? I have to change this 10. How many ones am I going to change this 10 into? 10. Can you help me count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now can I take away nine? I can. It does. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's count by twos. Two, four, six, eight. Good job. That equals eight. Very nice. Very nice. Can you check on your number line and make sure that 17 minus 9 is 8? Can you check? OK. Are you sure? No. I think we are right, equals 9. OK, let's look at this problem. We're going to put one this way. So we have 16 minus 8. Eight. So first I'm going to draw 16 here. Good job. It sure does. OK. Let's try it on the board and check and make sure we got the right answer. So I have 16 here. I have one ten. One, two, three, four, five, six ones. Is that the same number? No. It's not? Yeah, I have one ten, one ten, one, two, three, four, five, six ones right here. So yeah, this is 16 and this is 16. How many do I need to take away from 16? Eight. 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 Can I take eight from here? No. I can't. What do I need to do? Eight. I'm going to change this 10 one. into how many ones? Ten. Ten. Good. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cross that out. And I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to put my ten right there. So I still have 16 minus eight. Can I take eight away now? Yeah, I can. I have 16 right here. So I'm going to take away one, two, three, four, five. Good job. I took away eight. Let's count by eight, like by twos again. Two, four, six, eight. Good. So 16 minus eight is what? Equals eight. Good job. Good job. Can you double check on your number line and make sure it's eight? Yes. It is? Yes. Okay, good. No. It's seven? Check one more time because I think it's eight. I think it's eight. Check one more time. Is it eight? OK, good. It's OK. It's good to check ourselves, because sometimes we need to learn the right answer. If we don't know it the first time, that's OK. It's OK. We'll just do it again. OK. Let's try this number. What number is this? 25. 25. We're going to do 25 minus 8. So first, I'm going to draw 25 here. Good. Good job. You are so quick. Let's look at it this way. Is this 25 right here? Yes. 
Two tens. One, two, three, four, five ones. That's 25. Okay, good. Let's. Can I take away eight ones from these five ones? No. Can I take away eight ones from those five ones? No. What do I need to do? Change. Change a ten into how many ones? Ten. Ten ones. So I'm going to change this into a one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to put my one right there. Okay, can I take away eight now? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's count by twos. Two, four, six, eight. All right, let's count up our ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's put that in our ones place. How many tens do we have? One. Good job. Equals 17. We're right. I want everybody to take a look over here. Take a look right over here. Do you see what I did on these numbers? What did I change this number into? What did I change this two into? A one. And what did I change this five into? Five. Five. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, I added a tiny little one right there so that I can think fifteen minus eight is seven, and one minus zero equals one. So that's another way we can think about doing our subtraction problem. So we're going to practice a few more like that because eventually you're going to be able to subtract just like that without any cubes or squares or strips or number line. You're going to be able to just do a little math problem on a piece of paper. Okay. Let's do this number. What number is this? We're going to do 36 minus 9. So I'm going to put 36, 3 tens. And how many ones do I have? How many ones do I have in 36? Six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So first, we're going to take away our ones. Can I take away nine ones from these six? Can I take away nine ones? What do I need to do? I need to change one of these tens into how many ones? Ten. Help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Oh, you're right. Ten. <laughs> okay, now can I take away nine? Yeah. Good. And I changed one of my tens. So this three is going to become a two. Good. And I put my ten right here. I put my ten ones right here. So I'm just going to put a little one right there. Let's take away nine. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. What's, what's 16 minus nine? Six, 16 minus nine, it equals seven. Good job. And two minus zero? Two minus zero, how many? Two minus zero? Equals two. Equals two, good. And we don't take away anything, it's still the same number. Good. So do you see how we changed these numbers a little bit and we got the same answer as we got over here? And you got the same answer as you got on your number line. Good. So let's try a few more, and then you are going to try some on your own. Okay. 
So let's do 42 minus 7. So I'm going to draw four tens. How many ones do I have in 42? How many ones do I have in 42? Two ones. So I have one, two, three, four tens, and one, two, ones. How many am I going to subtract? How many am I going to subtract? Seven. Seven, I'm gonna take away seven. Can I take away seven from these two? No. No, what do I need to do? I need to change one of these tens into how many ones? Ten. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So over here, I took away one of my tens, right? I put it here. And now I have three tens. Because I took one of those tens, moved it over, now I have this. So now can I take away seven? Yes. I can. Let's do it. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Let's think about it this way. What's 12 minus seven? Good, 12 minus seven equals five. Is that the same number of ones we have here? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Three minus zero equals three, 35. Is that the same number of tens I have here? Yes, it sure is. Good job. OK. We're going to pass out some scratch paper to students, and we're going to practice doing some subtraction with only our borrowing method. OK. So we're going to do a few subtraction problems. We're going to practice our borrowing method. So follow along and write on the board the same thing we're writing. And if you need to use your number line for a little bit of counting help, you can. But try to stay with us for the borrowing. What number is this? 32. 32. So we are going to subtract from 32, 6. So first we look at our ones place, right? Yes. Yes. Can we take 6 away from 2? Can we take six from two? No. no. So we're going to do a little borrowing. Okay. We're going to do some borrowing. So we are going to move a one right here, and we're going to take it from our tens. So just like when we have our place value mat and our long tens and our little ones, and we change those, we do the same thing here, but we just use our numbers. So we moved one of our big tens over into 10 of these little cubes right here. So that's why we change this three into a two, and we put our one right here to make this number two a 12. So what is 12 minus six? Six, good. 12 minus six equals six. And two minus zero? Equals two. Good job. Let's do another one. Let's try 46 minus eight. Can we take eight away from six? What do you think? Can we take eight away from six? No, we can't. So we need to do some borrowing. We're going to take one of our tens. We're going to put it as a 16. And since I took away one ten, I'm going to change this four into a three. So now I want to think for my ones, I want to think 16 minus eight. What's 16 minus eight? Yeah, 16 minus 8 is 8. So I'm going to put that here in my 1's column. And 3 minus 0 equals 3. Good job. 
So this number, our answer, our difference is 38. Great job. You don't have to erase anything. What number is this? What number is this? What number is this? 56. You don't have to erase anything. You don't have to erase. Just keep going. You don't have to erase. You don't have to erase. Just keep going. So what number is this? 56. So we have 56. We are going to take away or subtract 7 from 56. Can we take 7 away from 6? No. Nope, we can't. What do we need to do? What do we need to do here to be able to take this 7 away from the 6? We need to change some of our 10s. So we are going to change this 5 into a 4. And we're going to put that 1 right here next to our 6. So that we have 16 minus 7. What's 16 minus 7? <laughs> 16 minus 7. Think about that. 16 minus 7 equals 9. Equals 9. Good job. So 16 minus 7 equals 9. What's 4 minus 0? 4 minus 0 is 4. And our whole answer, our difference, 49. 49. Good job. Just one more. I want you to do 22 minus, take away, 6. 22 minus 6. I got it. You got it? Yeah. All right. So remember, we're going to borrow from our 2. We're going to put that 1 right here to make our 2 a 12. Good job, my friends. A lot of our friends got it. Good, a lot of our friends got it by thinking 12 minus 6 is how many? What? 12 minus 6 is 6. 1 minus 0 equals 1. Good job, my friends. We're good. We're going to do a little more practice with our borrowing method later, but that was a good introduction for today. Thanks for joining us for our math lesson. Everybody say goodbye. Goodbye.